Hey everybody. Um, good morning. It's Christina from Frame Your Feline. We are trying something a little different with today's live. So I am going to invite Bry Guy Comedy, which is my partner in crime, Brian Vermeer. Um, he's going to be in the office showing from uh, his his screen some of our new pieces. So let's see if Brian knows how to. We did a little practice earlier. There he is. So he's going to flip, flip, flip around. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> hey, everybody. How are you? Hope everybody is doing well this fine Friday. And there we go, right there. Somebody had asked, hey, do you have any Thanksgiving <laughs> Back, background art? And yes, we do. In fact, we've got more coming this weekend. We have Christmas coming this weekend, too. Um, and we have a bunch of Halloween drops. Um, and if you order now, you will get that in time before uh, Halloween. All right. Christina is swapping out the artwork there. Looking good. Um, so yeah, let me show you here. Let me go to holidays and seasons. This is on our website. And so we have a ton of backdrops, as you can see, um, for the holidays. In fact, the pumpkin one is really awesome. In fact, I'm gonna show you guys. If you go on the website, you can toggle and you can see the backdrop, the artwork panel with different frame styles. So you can kind of see how it would look with any frame style that you choose. And there is a cat with the pumpkin. Isn't that awesome? Very cool. Perfect for Turkey Day, that's right. Turkey Day is around the corner. And make sure you get the backdrops, the artwork panels that you want for your kitty to pose in with, with the feline frame ensemble. All right. So, oh, I see you're prepping. You're gonna wake the cats? I think they're on, are they on nap time right now? I turned, I turned down my volume just so maybe people aren't hearing both of us at the same time. Um, oh. I have Holly right here, uh, anxiously awaiting <laughs> some nice. direction. You don't have to train your cats to jump into the frames. You know, cats love boxes, so they love frames. But right now it's 11 o'clock in the morning for us. Uh, the air conditioning is on. It's still almost 90 degrees here in the high desert and our cats are sleeping. <laughs> so, uh, actually have the two kittens wide awake, ready to, I hope, get in the frames. Cool. So Brian, you're gonna talk about some other art pieces while I do that? So yeah, sure. So we have a plethora, I think that's a good word for it. Um, when you come to our website, you go to artwork panels and you can see all the different artwork panel uh, backdrops that we have. So that way it could look fabulous in your home. And we were talking about aquatic life the last time we did this. And so we have a ton of backdrops. One of our popular ones um, is this jelly trio. And as you can see, it looks really awesome in the feline frame. And then when your cat is in there, it's almost like they're in a tank. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, so it's, it's pretty neat. We have a lot of, uh, aquatic life backdrops. Um, another one that's been actually selling pretty well is the shark. What's for dinner? Hopefully not your kitty, right? So we have the different frame styles, gallery gold. This is cherry wood. And then our contemporary silver. And then what would it look like when your cat is in the feline frame with that artwork panel and it looks pretty freaking cool. And that's what a lot of people say with aquatic life uh, artwork panels. Um, 
it tends to make them look like they're in a fish tank, <laughs> which is kind of cool. It's kind of funny. Um, and so that's been pretty cool. We've been really excited to now feature these. And we've got amazing actual, not just uh, photos, but artwork, artwork. Um, this one right here is called Senior Fish. And this is done by a, um, an artist well, one of our creative community members, um, uh, Jeannie Kalini. Jeannie Kalini, pardon me. And um, it's just, it's a reproduction of one of her artworks. And she just loves that cats are posing with her artwork <laughs> and, and thinking about eating them. Oh, there we go. I see. There is, there's Holly. <laughs> jumping from one to the other. Look at her go. <clears throat> Pretty good there, Christina. Um, so yeah, do you have any, you have any requests as far as what you would like to look at, Christina? A big one. I just want to say hi to Ben, who has joined us. Okay, um, ben, ben, if you want, you can type in the comments where you're watching us from. Let us know how many cats you have. Um, let us know if you have any questions about Frame Your Feline. Thank you for joining us. It's late morning. Our cats are usually sleeping. Three of them are kind of awake right now, so they'll be popping in. Oh, and here is Bali Cutie Cat. Hello. Giving everybody a wave. Um, Brian, if you want to show maybe just a couple more. Sure. Um, and then you can sign off well, and then come in here and join me in our... Well, Studio. right now, yeah, right now <laughs> I'm started. on Road Streets and Paths, which is the um, backdrop, uh, the artwork panels that kind of make it look like your cat is in the middle of either like train tracks here or a street or a road or a path. Um, and people love this illusion for their uh, feline frame to put their, have their cat posing on a street like this. This is a this is a great one. Desert Highway. This was actually taken uh, out here in the high desert. Um, I shot this and it's just amazing. The colors just really pop. Um, these prints are fantastic and we're going to show you what the prints are on. Um, but that's how it would look with your cat jumping in there and looking up at you from the frame. Yeah. So it's really, really cool. It's a great, it's a great illusion, um, especially with the road streets and paths. Um, one of my favorites, we were talking about this the last live we did, which is um, the bar category. And so we have wine and beer and <laughs> we were talking in these wine barrels. I mean, this is just a beautiful image. Um, especially with a cat sitting on a barrel. Here we go. So I'm, again, I'm on the, our website and you can see each image with the feline frame style gold. Got, that was gallery gold. This is cherry wood, the traditional cherry wood. And then this is contemporary silver. And then the last image that you can always scroll to on every artwork panel has a cat in the frame. So you can see what it looks like. So you can imagine your cute little furry baby inside the frame, right? Um, but what I love about the bar, you have to check this out, this, this category out, is we had some fun with this one. So for instance, we have this image of beer bottles on the dock. And if you look closely, it says, Fella Capois, <laughs> Benito Brew, right? And it says, get hooked. So we have some fun with the labels on these. And they're really kind of cute. And if you look closely, you'll see it. Um, and it's fun for when you have guests in your house and th then they look a little closer. <laughs> and they go, what? Pretty cool. Um, and a big one for us that, that people love is the Meow Teeny Time. Um, we'll actually show you that in the frame, maybe perhaps later. We have that one here. And it says, meow teeny time, shaken, not heard. And so with a cat in here, 
Let me go through. Let's take a look. Now that's a proper martini with a cat, right? Right. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, let me go to uh, nature. Come here. So beautiful artwork pieces. Again, you'll see some from uh, Janine Kalini. And we have like this, this wonderful dragonfly, which was taken by our creative uh, Mike Powell. I believe he shot this in Virginia. And it's just absolutely very, very cool. So, and, and for those who are jumping in late, holidays and seasons is really filling up. Um, you know, if you put your order in right away, you should have it in time um, for Halloween. Uh, we have a bunch of Thanksgiving coming up backdrops. And again, um, come back, uh, you'll see more and more as we keep filling these categories up. There we go. How cute is that? <laughs> right? And you, don't dress your, you don't dress your cat up in a costume. You know, let, let, the, let the artwork panel be the costume for your cat, right? Put them in the environment. I want to go to one of the, the, these, these are just absolutely stunning. This broom and moon. See this? It, it, they look like paper cutouts. And it's just absolutely stunning um, to look at. And again, this one has been very popular. It's kind of elegant. It's nice. It's beautiful. Um, so yeah, anyway, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Pretty, pretty cool. And I want to talk about, I'm going to come over to you, Christina, and show everybody that these artwork pieces, um, these artwork panels are big. They're 23 inches wide by 18 inches high. And they're vibrant. And uh, they're printed on this semi rigid thermoplastic. So it's really rugged. Your cat could, uh, we always say this, your cat could throw up a hairball on it, you just take a wet cloth and wipe it down. <laughs> there you go. You'll never have to worry about the artwork panel getting destroyed. Yep. All right, Brian, come on in. <laughs> I know, I know. I feel alone in here. Turn All right. your, turn your oh, account bye. off. Goodbye. And then come and join me. Now, it's going to be a very long commute, everyone. <laughs> oh, that was Jolly, by the way. Uh, he is a one-year-old black and white tuxedo cat that we rescued from the Lang Foundation in Los Angeles with his sister, who was the one jumping from frame to frame earlier. That was Holly. So let's make sure this is nice and even. The man, the myth, the legend, Brian Vermeer, everyone. That was a long commute. <laughs> uh, and I have a, a beverage for you today. We're having- Thank you, I sprinted uh, over here. Just today we're having a Waterloo, um, we're using up our summer stock now, sparkling uh, watermelon lemonade. Watermelon? Watermelon lemonade. You know, watermelon sparkling water from Waterloo. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let, me, let me do this. Okay. So, <laughs> does anybody have, I want to wave to everybody. Yes, I've been, I've been digitally waving to people. But it's, it's kind of cool because we've had a lot of people ask, like, about the website. And yeah. some people didn't know they could click through the images and see. Right, and surf what around. It, and what it looks like with each frame style yeah. and then with a cat at the end. So, <sighs> make I mean, sure you do like that. I like that because then you can see, like, what different types of cats that maybe look like your cats what they would look like in the artwork, as well as the coloring of your cat. Um, Jolly, the black and white cat who you saw, I love how he looks with one of our gradient pieces with mm -hmm. the purple blue behind him. It just makes him really pop. Um, somebody's using the litter box. Could you get me one of those panels? Yes, I sure can. Okay. Um, because, again, I wanted to stress how vibrant these prints are and they really do elevate your feline frame. Should we do, uh, let's do, let's do a light, a light house. Okay. We're gonna show a whole bunch of them today, but. Yeah, this is in our marine category, but it is a, see this? 
It is a semi-rigid thermoplastic, brilliant colors that just pop. And this image is really cool because if you look close, this was actually a photograph that was then converted into um, an oil painting through artificial intelligence. And it's really kind of cool. When you look close, you'll see all the brush strokes and everything. It's really neat. Um, so uh, another question that people had was, hey, I love a picture I have. Can I have that as a backdrop, as an artwork panel? And yes, we have a customization area where you put your order in and then you upload your image and it is printed and shipped to you for your feline frame. You can order it at the same time that you order. If you don't have a um, feline frame ensemble yet, then you can order that and then also at the same time order your customized panel and everything will come in one shipment. Um, but you do get you yeah. do get two free artwork panels with your for your feline ensemble order. You do, yeah. Every feline frame ensemble comes with two free artwork panels of your choice. And so, the kittens have both just used the box and they have the zoomies. The zoomies. <laughs> oh boy. Oh geez. Why do cats act like that anyway? Why do they run it's around like, like an crazy? Thing. They do that in the wild. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, this is little Holly. She is our forever kitten. She's the smallest of the group. Oh, biscuit the biscuit factory! <laughs> the biscuit factory joined us. That's great. Um, if anybody wants to type in the comments area where you're watching us from, if you have any questions. Yeah, yeah, seriously. The names of your cats. Who has questions? Who has thoughts? Comments. Do you have a feline frame ensemble? Feel free to chime in. We've got... Um, Where do you have it in your house? Oh, look at the love. Look at some love. <laughs> look at the love. And, um, let's see. The Story of My Pet podcast. We're going to be guests on that show we, pretty soon. We are. Cannot wait. We are so looking forward to that. We're going to have a good time. <clears throat> um, Where is Winnie? What was have what? you seen Winnie today? Winnie? I have not. Uh, no. I think she is sleeping as usual. And I'm just putting the cats in the frames because I want you to see what they look like. They'll be in and out because usually they're asleep right now. Right. But we're lucky the two kittens are awake, awake and zooming. Yes. <laughs> I couldn't move fast enough. Somebody had Oh, asked. here's Winnie. Oh, there she is. Look, there she is. <laughs> oh, oh, she's ready. Good girl. Ready to pose. Can you come up? There you go. There you go. See? Easy as that. There you go. I don't even have to snap my fingers usually. So... We have, that's a feline frame shelf. We also sell those on the website. If you don't have a way for your cat to get up into the frame, that was a question somebody yes, sent uh, in. Yes, do I need shelves? Someone had mentioned. Not. I have my notes from our little email list. If you, if, you have, if you have a way for your cat to get up into the frame, right, then no, you don't need those shelves. But we did design the shelves. If you want to hold up a shelf. Yep, sure. Um, because we love the aesthetic of it. These are not just normal shelves that people have with the ugly brackets underneath. These are floating shelves. They're made in the USA by hand with premium, premium hardwood. Yes. And they have this really cool carpet on them that cats love to scratch. Our cats have been scratching these for three years now, yeah. and we have not yet replaced it. They have suffered from a uh, Stanley steam ring, if you've seen the Toby commercial, where the cat, you know, dog drags its butt, cat drags its butt, we clean that up, uh, and a few hairballs. So, so uh, yeah. they're very durable, but cats love these little grooves, and it doesn't pill like an ugly cat tree. No, ugh, cat trees. <laughs> We're just really not into cat trees. And with it, I want to encourage you guys to go to our website, frameyourfeline.com. That's where Brian was showing the artwork options earlier. But on there, we just launched our first blog post. What was that blog post about? It was, it was something that happened to us. Yeah, right? that cat trees encourage feral behavior. When we talk about our cat Frosty who passed away in January, but when we first uh, adopted him, we were given a cat tree and he would just hide in the bottom of it and we would stuff pillows in there and he would still wiggle his way in and he would be there for 
hours upon hours. We were worried <laughs> um, about him, but he wasn't getting water. And um, it was a nightmare when we tried to uh, get him to get in the carrier to go to the vet because he yeah. just hide in there. And he just hide in there so often. Um, it was really sad because we were trying to accommodate him and help him get used to us and our apartment. Yeah. And when we lived in LA. Cat trees. So, yeah, we're not a fan I'm, of I'm them. I'm doing the thumbs down <laughs> emoticon. Bing. When we, no. when we bought our house, we were like, we are not bringing that thing with us. And I remember we brought it out onto the little grassy curb yeah. in the Miracle Mile. And within 10 minutes, these women across the street who are hoarders picked it up and put it in their front yard. See, that's the thing with the <laughs> feline frame ensemble is th these are built to last. Mm -hmm. They're um, legacy items. You they they are. They'll down. never, I mean. If you take are, good care of them, wipe them off. and Premium, premium hardwood for the, move, the right? top and the bottom Sweeney? shelves. And then the frames, we always go over this, is our actual framing materials that professional framers use for real artwork. And so um, it really looks sharp in your house, home. You want to hold this house? There we go. I put a little food dish here for Jolly and Winnie's afraid to jump. So right. this is the <laughs> contemporary silver frame. Look, I'm <laughs> I'm in a frame. All right. Look at me. I look like, frame, oh, frame, frame your human. I think <laughs> I think we found a new one here. Oh goodness. Oh boy. We're gonna, we're gonna need one that's six feet tall, <laughs> six feet two inches tall. Um. So yeah, this is the uh, this is the contemporary silver. It's got this cool wavy pattern, and again with those um the aquatic artwork panels. Uh, it, oh, let me see if I, the jellyfish is in the bedroom. Let me grab that you one. You want to go get that? Yeah. yeah. So what's really neat is what I've noticed. There's this, no word besides neat. No, guys. neat is, neat is my word <laughs> because I refuse to say amazing. Do a shot. I, I hear him say neat. Yeah. It's a drinking game, everybody. Every time I say neat, uh, you know what to do. Take a sip of your water. Okay. Okay. Mm. Um, so uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So the contemporary silver with any aquatic um, image, the back uh, artwork panel, we have an uh, aquatics um, category. It almost looks as if your cat is in a fish tank, <laughs> which is kind of neat. Here, here is the jellyfish. Oh, look, it really just pops. It's so pretty with the silver and the bright aquatic colors. And then with a cat in there, meow, right? <laughs> Looks even better. But I, just, do, I do also like it with the wood. We just have to warn your cat not to try to eat the fish, okay? <laughs> All right. Um, so you're putting the jellyfish in there? Yeah, just so you can see. Cool. Yeah, we have, we have um, I think we have like four or five different variants of the jellyfish um, artwork panels in yes. the aquatics area. Yeah. So uh, there's not just one jellyfish. We've got quite a, quite a few different images for you to choose from. Um, oh, and I will say yeah. regarding the frames, um, you know, it's, they're very easy to clean. The silver one I do find, like I get my fingerprints on it. I just wipe it with a damp cloth. Um, when I'm just doing things around the house, tidying up, I'll just kind of give them a little wipe down with a damp cloth. That's it. You don't need any cleaning product on it. Um, there's Winnie. She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> um, so there, it, this one's like a nice modern one. And you will see sometimes when I post videos, you can see me recording because there's a reflection. <laughs> so I'm a, I'm a little being on the, oh, that's our, you. Oh. Our, our Instagram videos. I try to escape that. I just, Right. So, um, what were did we had? So we ha we have some questions that people had written to us since our last live, and I think we wanted to go over a couple of them, right? Yeah. So, uh, what do you mean I can swap the frames? Oh, okay. That yeah. was one of them. Okay. So you've been watching Christina <laughs> swapping out the, the artwork. artwork panels. It takes five seconds. 10 if you're really slow, okay? But um, the frames, everything is meant to be interchangeable. So that way you can change up the look of your house and home when you just swap out the frame. And it's so simple because you'll see, see how there's these little brackets? Right there. 
right? You're moving it too so fast there's, for me. There's four on the top and there's four brackets on the bottom. And all you do is you unscrew with your, with your screwdriver, the four at the top, the four at the bottom, remove it, put in the new one, put in, screw them in and you're done. And it takes literally five minutes. That's it. I think it takes less than that. You say, usually say like five seconds and I say, it takes two minutes. Okay, two minutes, <laughs> five minutes if you're slow. Okay. I think we're gonna have Brian do that next time on the live. I'll do that next time. Yeah. Sounds yeah. like fun. Does um, anybody have any questions for us? Um, yeah, I want to hear from you guys. Let's make this factory, a little. The story of my pet, Bali cute cat. Let's make this interactive. House of Paradolia. We're glad that you guys are joining us. We love that. Um, uh, so, what do you mean I can swap out the frame? So Brian said uh, it's really easy to do. You might want to swap it out if you decide to put your feline frame in a different room, or if you change your decor. Uh, maybe you use a lot of gold things during the Christmas holiday and maybe in the springtime you want something brighter like the silver frame. Right. So, so it's really easy to swap out with your decor. And you can, you can buy, we have the um, under accessories on the website, you'll see we have the frame styles you can choose, um, uh, whichever one you want without the whole ensemble. You can just get a frame by itself. And so what we mean by the ensemble is the lower shelf that's carpeted right here and the upper shelf that's not carpeted. Those are installed into your studs on your wall. And then you get to choose one of the three frame styles. And then you also can select for free two interchangeable artwork panels. So if you already have the upper and the lower and you want to just buy a silver one and because you've already ordered the gold one, you can do that. Yeah. So uh, the frames just by themselves are in the accessories area. And of course, for the whole frame ensemble, that's in the frame ensembles area on the website. That's the very first thing. So yes, on yeah. frameyourfeline.com, we got Zwee Cat. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but um, feel free to leave a comment. If you have a question, let us know where you're watching us from. Um, if you're watching this as a replay, we know it's really hard to accommodate everybody's schedules. But I like the little hearts that float. Yes, I little just, hearts. I like hearts. the hearts. I like smiles. I, I feel the love. Oh, I oh, feel the love. Oh, oh. Ooh, we love it. All right. <laughs> um, so we did, what do you mean can I swap the frames? Do I need shelves? Uh, when should I switch out the art? Somebody had sent in an email right. and asked us that. <laughs> well, Winnie is um, out. I will swap out some art. When should people when switch should, out the art? When should people swap out the art? Like, somebody's like, like, when do I do it? I'm like, uh, well, let's see. When the change of seasons, right? Uh, um, now it's football season. Now it's so football like season. This Thanksgiving day, this would look kind of cool. Right. People over. So football. Goodbye summer. Goodbye summer. That is an awesome pool image that we have. Right. And it's still summer here. It's almost 90 degrees right now. So <laughs> <laughs> we have the air on. The fans are cranked. So let me see. So that pool image of the pool side, I think is the name of it, is in our still life category. And then there we go. corks, right? Nice fall colors. So fall colors, right? And then uh, holidays, obviously, right? You're going to want to swap things out, um, the artwork panels. Yeah, I mean, for us, I kind of play around with our frames and swap out the artwork panels. I probably swap the frames like once a month, and I like to swap out the artwork panels. Usually on Fridays, I say to our six-year-old, what should we put in there? And now we have to print up a whole bunch of new uh, artwork panels because we have so many more to start showing off to you guys. Yeah, our, our, it's really starting to fill out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, so the ghost cat. Oh, cool. um, we're new. We're new fans cool. of the ghost cat. He's. It's. A, I'm not sure if it's a boy or girl, but it's a white cat, like Frosty. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, that's um, awesome. Well, perfect for holiday for the Halloween holiday, right? Right? Ghost cat. <laughs> mm, feel the heart. I got the heart. 
We have some fun patriotic themed uh, artwork panels. Fourth of July, yeah. Hello, ghost terms, or election day, or Memorial Day. When there's two T's at the end of cat, is it pronounced cat? <laughs> ghost cat. Who are those hearts for? If they're for <laughs> me, give a heart right now. Oh, and Winnie and, and now just used the litter box, and she's in and she's out of the, the kitchen zoomies. one, and she's running, she's cantering. She's cantering. Oh, there she is. There she goes. I wasn't kidding. What the? Whoa. Whoa, Winnie. How are you doing, okay? Whoop. Jeez. She's, Woof. She's a uh, woof. Woof. Uh, so, yeah. Question all the time, too. There's so much space. Cats can turn around, clean themselves. Nine inches of depth. So they've got plenty of room. Yeah. And so ghost cat just went like this with an emoji. <laughs> I think that has to do with how do you... How That's do you so cute. Thank you. How do you pronounce the, the ghost cat with two Ts? Yes, ghost cat. Ghost cat. Ghost cat. So I, I just switched out. Uh, we have AmeriCat over here. If you've seen uh, the Cat Crazy channel on YouTube, yep. Uh, Petra, one of Petra cats. Luna, the host. Yes. She has. She got one of these. And you can put multiple cats on the cat frames. Uh, you can see in our videos. We've, we've had two cats in a cat frame at the same time. We've had two kittens. Uh, we haven't had three. We've had some venturing on the yet. top. <laughs> You know, a long, long time ago, they, there used to be this thing called a phone booth, right? Do you remember what those used to mm -hmm. look like? I don't know if, you know. With like a little accordion door. Right, right. So they Wait would. Bonkers. They would do, they would, college kids were crazy, right? They would all like see how many people can get crammed into a phone booth. We're going to do that with the frames. We're going to see how many cats can we get into one frame. What are you doing? She's, she's wild. She's a wild. Um, Those are, that's coming up. That's dangerous. Oh, this isn't on? It's not on there. Oh, no, this is coming up. Here's a sneak peek. We've shown this one before. We just haven't yes. uploaded it. So, this was shot in Brazil, I think. Yes. Uh, one of our creatives, she's an actor, and mm -hmm. she travels around the world with her family. Yep. And this was a, uh, she told me, a sandbox making kit that she brought from Sandbox us. making kit. A sand sand castle. castle making sand, kit. Sand castle. Sandbox. I think it's like a litter box. box. <laughs> and those should be called litter pans. They're not boxes. Our cats don't go to the bathroom in boxes. That's true. That's true. It's a pan. Mm -hmm. pan. Anyway, she brought this uh, sand castle kit with her to Brazil and with her children made this very cute castle with some shells and rocks and stuff. So by the way. By the way, if you want to be one of our creative community members, we're always welcoming new people. So if, if like if a hobby of yours is or a profession of yours is taking pictures or doing artwork, um, painting, um, and you would like to see cats with your work of art, we would be more than happy to have you join our uh, community and get your images up on our site for people to select this backdrop artwork panels for their feline frames. There we go. That's, uh, that's Winnie's favorite artwork panel, her happy birthday to Meow, which mm -hmm. we celebrate on March 12th. Uh, yep. That was Winnie. She's in and out. I'm not going to try to. So, the, her. <laughs> so, so, what's really neat is when the cats are not like when they are hanging out in the frames as they do, um, taking pictures of your cat and then throwing them on, on Instagram uh -huh. looks really frigging awesome. Yeah, so, they are Insta-famous. Insta-famous. Instagrammable. And the thing is, is like, again, back to the cat tree thing, not only does it encourage feral-like behavior, in my opinion, but a cat tree is pretty ugly. When I have cats sat for people and I'm walking their home, the first time to meet them and I'm like, oh, there's your cat tree. And they're like, yeah, it's tucked behind the couch, stuffed in the corner. It's hideous. It's full of dust mites. Yeah. And like, ugh. So the and thing is, when your cat's not in the cat tree, you're looking at a pretty ugly cat tree. So when your cat's not in the frame, you're looking at art that you've picked for yourself, that you love, that you like, that you connect with, not just some carpeted cat tree. 
Ugh. That ends up being landfill. <laughs> yeah, and it may, makes you sneeze. I don't think, Yeah. you know, so many people say they're allergic to cats. I don't own a cat because I'm allergic. I, that is the worst excuse. And I'm telling you, I'm thinking like 90% now, don't hold me, you know, I, I, but I'm thinking like close to 90. 90% of those who complain that they're allergic to cats are not in fact allergic to cats. They're allergic to the cat tree. That's a good point. If we could just get one of these in every cat household that has a cat tree and get rid of the cat tree, watch the allergies <laughs> just disappear. Now, I'm not making any scientific claim here, but I'm just saying, just saying, I think there might be something to this uh, thought. What do you think? Right? <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, we talked about if you wanted to be a, a creative, a contributor to Frame Your Feline. This is something that Brian shot. We live, what, like two hours from mm -hmm. the almond blossoms in Bakersfield, California. So we did a road trip. Yep. Um, and we thought we would share this. Look how up close and vibrant. And sharp. And, uh, there's a bee. There's a bee. There's now, a little almond blossom. I can guarantee you, if you do end up getting the almond blossom artwork panel, I guarantee your cat will be safe <laughs> from the bee. We've made sure that all artwork panels will not sting. Okay. All right. We're just, we're really careful with all of our wildlife and, and nature kind of images. We have a, we have an image of an eagle flying with its like talons out, right? When your cat is lying down, it looks like it's like grabbing your cat. Okay. Now I'm just going to say here, your cat will not get harmed with this artwork panel. Okay. All right. And, you, and you, guys, you, guys may, you guys may have caught a whiff of this. Brian and I are stand-up comedians. And um, we do find great joy and laughter when our cats are like, they have no idea what's behind them. So this is very <laughs> this precarious word, I'm not sure. But um, it is funny to see them. And so, sometimes we, we've, we've put pictures up on Instagram. Some of our, our users have too where the cat is like looking at the artwork. So it's like the back of their head. And I'm like, you know, they're like, what the heck is this? Like, is this a bird in my house? I don't know. I talk all day, you know, to them out the window. <laughs> oh, Winnie's on the yeah. table staring at me now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, um... Winnie, what do you need? So, okay. as we wrap this up, uh, if anybody has any questions, thoughts, comments, inquiries feel free to uh do the little interwebs magic oh no the eagle is going to get a little type it in. Oh. oh no she's like i'm out of here look at there she goes she's like peace she's wa she wants some peace um and somebody had written to us yeah uh is the feline frame ensemble good for kittens and uh we adopted, foster to adopted, uh, Holly and Jolly. Uh, yeah. Ah! Um, we got them when I believe they were three months old and we brought them home in their little box. Like, oh man, they're so tiny. And we had them in this catio for like a day to get acquainted with the other cats. And then we let them out and they were up in that frame right away <laughs> together, cleaning each other and just loving each other. So it is great for kittens. As soon as your kitten starts to really jump, let's say around the 12 week mark, uh, as soon as you see them jumping, I would introduce them to the frame. Yeah. So um, I think we're about to wind this. Yeah, I was just trying we're to- We're gonna that. wind the show yeah, down. The one that's in family, that was the one. This tearjerker. Yeah, so we have a category um, called uh, signs, flags, and symbols. And that's where you'll find the peace sign. You'll, you'll see flags, American flags, uh, images with words. Um, so the family one, I think, was a custom. That order. was a custom but one, we but we thought it was pretty cool. We did one that says, eat for your kitchen. We did, and so we that'll be going up. Eat. Yeah. We also, um, but there's chillaxes on the site, um, which is cool. So yeah, a little Scrabble puzzle pieces kind of feel. And and here's the thing, folks. If there's something that you wish 
like like a cool word shown in like neon, for instance. We have our ways here because mm -hmm. we're we're pretty we're good. Savvy. We're pretty good with the Digital graphics. Artistry. We've got a graphics department here. <laughs> so if you were like, you know, I really wish there was something that said cat daddy, right? Um, we can make it happen. You just gotta, you just gotta like say, hey. Yeah. And then we'll put it up on the site and other people can enjoy it too. But you'd be the first, right? But yeah, we'll take requests. We'll take requests. And um, the last question that I had, because we got five of them, how long does it take to ship and receive the order? Yes. Okay. So um, everything is manufactured in the United States. That's right. Everything is handmade. And um, if you put your order in, typically around two to three weeks uh, is the turnaround time that you'll get it. So from it could your be order, faster. It could be we faster. We have a nice inventory of frames right now. We do for the holiday season. Yeah. We've got uh, so it's it, 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 it'll go faster, but you should order before we get the the know, rush. The rush. <laughs> um, but uh, typical like two weeks. Right, because say. yeah, we provide you with all the tracking information, and you can reach out to us at any time. We're happy to let you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's getting printed. Okay, because obviously we print on demand, mm -hmm. but already the the frame ensembles are already made. Yep. Um, and then we let you know when it's going out, and we give you the tracking information, and we can all follow that along if you need to. If you're nervous, like when is it coming? And uh, it's a nice. Nice size box that comes to your home. Yeah. And yeah. we offer free shipping, which I think is pretty cool for a small family business at the moment. So Wait, we're offering free shipping? Mm -hmm. who, 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 what? <laughs> and that beeping is our son's watch. Yes. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Um, awesome. Yeah, so free shipping yeah. in the continental United States. States. And right. if you're watching from somewhere else, you can contact us on the website uh, to find out about international shipping. Yeah. Because we'll we do it. offer that because so many of you have asked. Yes. Um, so... Is there anything else we want to delve into? Um, I think we got the five questions. We tackled uh, showing some art in the office. We'll work on that. I'm going to listen to the replay and see how it sounded. Um, if you're watching the replay and you have a question, feel free to leave it in the comments area or reach out to us on our website. Um, and we'll probably do another live, I think, right after Halloween. That long? Well, I'm, I'm gonna miss these guys. I don't know. I don't know. You can let us know when we should do one. We would love to do them at night. It's just hard with our cats, and the lighting doesn't look that great. But we could play around with that too. Yeah. Um, so cool. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. You can reach out to us through our website. You can reach out to us through Instagram. We will answer any questions you may have. Because we're really neat like that. We are cool like that. Neat. That's your word. Oh, because I say it. Wait, neat. It's so neat. Yeah, we should do one some night. Guys, let us know if we should do one really late at night. Uh, we're Pacific Standard Time. And we could do a shot every time Brian says neat. I'm, the, the I am no longer. I'm going <laughs> to use the cool, old. Cool. It's cool. No, amazing. It's awesome. Amazing. Isn't this amazing? Yeah, amazing. I'm going to use that. <laughs> Term. Let us know what your favorite adjective is. Yeah, brother. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for joining us. Again, I'm Christina, and this is Bry Guy. Brian. And we are from Premier mm. Beeline. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks you for got to see Winnie, a little bit of Poppy, and Holly, and Jolly. Holly and Jolly. But Tootie, he's under the bed. And Mojave, he's behind this wall in the other frame listening to us. He's the scaredy cat, orange ginger cat that we have. So cool. someday they'll, they'll see them. <laughs> As always, everybody, it's been a pleasure. It's All right, been a take pleasure. Care. We will see you next time. <laughs> All right. Oh, I just wanted to say, I love my Frame Your Feline fam. And Aww. you are part of it. Aww. Goodbye, everybody. Bye now. Until next time. <laughs>